When your child's academic progress in school begins to deteriorate as a parent, what do you always do? How do you always react? What actions do you take? You know, one thing that parents have failed to understand and appreciate is the fact that the group of children we have in secondary schools today are a very cunning lot. Most of them are very cunning. These are children who can come home with 2% in mathematics. 2% or even 1 in mathematics. Mathematics where uh, it was a full paper. Let's say for example a form 3 or a form 4 or a form 2. The boy or the girl comes home with 2% out of 100. And then you ask the boy or the girl that what exactly is your problem with math mathematics? Why are you getting 2%? The child will come and list for you some one or two topics that is her or his biggest problem. That you know I have problem with integers, you know I have problem with, with the logarithms. You ask the child, why have you performed this mal in English? I know my problem is I have problem with poetry, I have problem with the closed test. The exam that the boy has failed or the girl has failed has got 10 questions of closed test, has got 10 questions or 10 marks for poetry. The child has got less than 20 out of 60, let's say for example. Question is, if your problem, for example, even in mathematics you are talking about, your problem is logarithms, your problem is integers, your problem is differentiation. Pick the paper. Take me through. In this paper of 100%, how many questions or how many marks came from the topics that are your trouble? You will realize that it will not even amount even to 10%. Then the question is, if you could not get 90%, why didn't you get 90% if this 10% has been your problem? One thing, dear parents, you need to know at this particular time, and I want to let this be known to you. The children you are struggling for and paying fee for are very, very much cunning. And one thing that most of them have perfected the art of, they have perfected the art of always seeking who or what to blame. The children we have nowadays in our schools are not children who can sit down and start blaming themselves. Rarely will you hear your child saying, oh mom, this time I was, I was not serious, this time I think I was not focused, this time I did ABCD. Most times, they'll start by blaming the school. Oh, the school program is tight, I don't have time to read for myself, the school program is F, I don't have time to do this. Good. If that one fails, he will look or she will look for a teacher to blame. The teacher who is teaching this subject is harsh. She's never there for us, blah, blah, blah. If she does not get the teacher, she will get something or he will get something to blame. Sometimes, I sit down with the students and I ask them, why are you performing this money in exam? The parent has availed all the books. Fee has been paid. Everything is there. The question is, why are you performing this money in exam? I have children or I have students who have been very open with me and they will tell you that Mwalimu Nyeri, uh, I have not been very serious. And then you ask the child, if you have not been serious, you have not been reading, you have not been revising, you have been attending preps, what have you been doing? Now dear parent, the answer to that question of what, what are you not doing, that is where the solution is. That is where the solution is. I want to warn you. The group of children we are having in our schools today are not children you are going to pin down, threaten, abuse, you beat up for them to come out and talk to you. None. They will not talk to you. They will go rebellious on you. You know, even personally as a teacher, I, I, I know I'm very strict. That goes without saying. But I know when to be strict. I know when to be friendly. I know when to joke. I know when I want some information. I know how to behave when I want some information at some point. Until I get the information. So as a parent, sometimes I want to steal for you a secret today. You know, 
your daughter or your son knows that you are very, very, and this is part one. I'll, I want to do 10 series of what to do when your child has failed or is, is having poor results or is beginning to deteriorate in performance. And I want to request you that please, this series, you, you can get them on my YouTube. I have just opened a YouTube account. This YouTube, YouTube, YouTube account is going to help me not only to address some of the issues they are having in our schools with our students as far as uh, uh, academics is concerned and social life is concerned. But again, also, it is going to give us an opportunity also to see what our children have in their hearts. I've, I've come up with a YouTube account called Real Talk TV. Now, Real Talk TV, uh, I'll explain to you in my next video what it aims at doing. So please, when you bump onto Real Talk TV, it is a new one. It is barely a day. Kindly subscribe. Click the subscribe button. And if you get a video there, you can watch, you can give it thumbs up, and you can be able to put your comment there so that you can be able to interact. I'm very sure when schools resume, by the time we shall be closing third term, Real Talk TV will be a big thing because it will be a uh, learner-centered uh, television or a learner-centered platform where we are going to showcase a lot of things. Back to our talk. So your boy or your girl has come home with the poor results at the end of the term. And he has handed over the results. And the boy is seriously expecting that you are going to be very hard on him. Or the girl knows you are going to be very hard on her. That is not the time to be mad. That is not the time to quarrel. That is not the time even to look like you want to pounce on her. That is not the time. Pick the report form, look at it, do not make a comment. Don't create unnecessary tension. After looking at the, at the, after picking the report form, you tell the girl or the boys, okay, you can go on with your things, I'll look into it later on, then I'll be able to create time so that we talk and I advise you. When you tell your child that you will, I will advise you, you have eliminated the tension that was going to build. Take time and go out with your child. Get out of the house. Create a friendly environment and have a conversation with that boy or that girl. Reduce yourself to, the, to, the, to his or her level. Get information. Let me tell you, dear parents. I have realized that the things that are hurting our children, that are causing them to fail in exams, are very small, but very big things. They are very small things. They are small things that when somebody tells us, ah, this is childish, this is negligible, this, this is... Je but they, particularly if your child is a girl. You know, boys have a way of, of, of assuming things. But girls, that is not true. Girls are very sensitive. Very small, small things can turn them off. And that is why, because I teach in a girl's school, I always tell my students that please, girls, when you go home, if you engage yourself in sexual escapades with a man or a boy as a student, that boy can be in form four like you, or in form three like you, or in form two like you, or in form one like you. After having sex with you, he will leave that place and will walk out and move on with life like nothing happened. The boy can live there and still go and look for another girl and continue flirting you like nothing happened. But you as a girl, you want to sit there. You want to think about this boy. You want to think about the process. You want to think what happened. You want this thing to replay in your mind. You want to tell it to your friends. You want to share experiences with your friends. When you go to our girls' schools, the first two weeks of opening school, there's, learn there's no learning that takes place. There's no learning that takes place. The girls' minds are congested with rubbish. And you go to their dormitories, those are the things they talk. During game times and break times, those are the things they talk. Oh, my guy, alinifanya hivi, alifanya hivi, nilikutana na mbaba, nilifanya hivi, nani alinitexi, alinitumia hii, all the stuff. Boys, maybe they'll be talking about football, they talk about this girl, this girl, and it is done. And most times they even do only do it during game times and they are done. If you are a parent and you are having school. You have a daughter in school. The series I'm going to produce are yours. Subscribe. 